going to be doing a little vlogish fur video and this is what I'm wearing and I'm going to be going to the art store and today is just going to be a chill day because I don't have school today <laughs> so let's go! She doesn't text me on the weekend Don't wanna know what she's up to Calm down If I close my eyes and focus on my own mind for a while Then it doesn't matter This love's all I remember And if it's only for the night Then that would be alright, yeah You crack a smile and think He's no competition He's no competition when you're with him His touch, his kiss, your name on his lips He's no competition I'm the one you're missing Survive this distance If I close my eyes and think about all of the times that we said Now that I found it, I just can't live without it And if it's only for the night, then that would be alright, yeah And when you're laying there beside him, I hope you crack a smile and think He's no competition When you're with him His touch, his kiss Your name on his lips He's no competition I don't know how much longer I can do this I'm scared to death to lose you But the truth is When I'm alone at night And things need you right I need to hear you say it Don't lie He's no competition He's no competition when you're with him His touch, his kiss, your name on his lips He's no competition, I'm the one you're missing Okay, hello! I'm finally back home 
and now I'm just going to show you what I've bought. So for the first plastic bag that I bought is from the art store and I got five sketchbooks which is for my art classes and if you don't know I I go to an art school that is why I need sketchbooks for all my classes. It's just pretty plain ones and then I also got a clear file just a simple one that would fit my stickers because currently they're in a box and they're just all over the place so I need to keep them in one place just a very simple file and then I also got these acrylic paints which are supposed to be able to be put or painted on like any kinds of surface like glass and all that Hopefully it works and it says non-toxin so I'm gonna try make a gift out of this. I'm thinking of painting a custom cup or glass or something for a gift. Still not sure but this is the current colors that I bought. So they are the brand folk art and I got the green one and also this pink one pink balloon that's what it's specifically called as I got the pure black one and lastly I got the teddy bear tan because I love teddy bear <laughs> I also got this um, I went to the shop called turtle but they didn't allow me to actually film so I'm, I didn't show you that but I'll show you what I got for Muji first. It's just those two pens that I showed you, but I'm just gonna show you anyway. <laughs> I love the Muji packaging, it's so aesthetic and cute. So I got this black and the blue black one on 0.5. They're my go to pens for like literally anything. <laughs> Okay, so now moving on to the shop that I said, it's called Turtle and it sells these very many cute washi tapes and just beautiful stickers but they also sell these like cute pins which I never said before but I'm obsessed with pins. <laughs> I'm obsessed with just clipping things on my hair ever since I was young. I think it was because they influenced my mom <laughs> and I love clips. And they were on sale, so I got them real quick. They were on sale for very cheap ones, actually. And I got this keychain, which is like boba keychain. Well, wait until it's focused. It has these like ice cubes and actual boba, and that is so cute. Buy two, get $10, while one is $6, so I had to get it. Like, I didn't really need anything else. While well, those three other clips that I showed you, like the heart ones and stuff, they were like three for five dollars, which was such a good deal because one one was supposed to be seven dollars, so I think it was five dollars. So here are all my stuff that I bought for today. So it's dinner time, and this is what I'm eating for today. I'm eating black peppered um, beef, and yes, I love black pepper so I'm gonna quickly eat this before doing some journaling
it's me again, voice or Ray Roy. <laughs> and this is my bujo. So I just gave you a little sneak peek, but I it's all on my Instagram actually. So it's also linked in the description. So I'm gonna be bullet journaling because I'm finally back in school on my year two for my art school. And so I have to get back to journal bullet journaling i stopped because during the holidays didn't really have anything set up to do so but now i have to i need to make a reminder and what i've done and what homeworks i need to because bullet journaling definitely helped me to keep track of that so we're gonna start with today's 2020 august Okay, so while I'm bullet journaling, I'm gonna be doing a voiceover, just talking and chill with you guys. So, okay, one of the f many, many questions that I got is about my name. How do you pronounce your name? <laughs> I've got that so many pe times. People call me either Schwan, Sean, Schwan, I don't know what else. <laughs> but my english name is joy j-o-y yes and no i'm not from red velvet she's a queen and i'm not <laughs> so my name is pronounced shen journals so it's basically shen shu ren so because my chinese name is shen shen so i use my chinese name in front and then put journals at the back because i love journaling so how simple is that? <laughs> That's probably like many people didn't understand why, like why those letters, why X U A N. How do you even pronounce it? So many people ask that, and understandable, understandable because it's not English, so understandable. <laughs> okay, so aside from my name, I wanted to be talking about my experiences as a uh, year one or have an experience with one year of an art student because many people ask me like how's life you know as an art student what do you learn um because there's also many people which want like interested but they don't know exactly what an art school is like what do you study specifically which is definitely questions that i asked previously before i come here so i hope i would be able to help you and guide you and get those curiosity a little bit answered <laughs> from your brain what is an art school what do you actually study do, is it enjoyable because I myself, before coming here, I asked so many questions to myself and I was so nervous because I didn't know, it was like not many people go to do an art school, definitely, like from around me and so I can't ask just around me so I need to experience it by myself and I'm here to be that senior or that person to tell you what an art school is like for me so first of all i'm gonna tell you what my major is my major is in illustration and animation so during my first year and i'm studying abroad by the way so during my first year it semester one it is basically not directly major study i had to study with many different majors like fashion design film theater uh entire design jewelry and all that students and we learn like different kinds of just mediums we just explored with many different mediums which is actually pretty interesting we study about clay planes with papers and then charcoals and many many other stuff that might not be what we're going to do in the future or like what we're going to be focused on but i thought that was like interesting and something that is good to do and practice because experimenting with many different things allows students to actually try and they might actually fall in love with it and might find their you know calling quotation because i did 
um, actually have fun with it. Though I know some students might be like, I'm not going to do this anyway, so why am I doing this? I There were lots of students saying that. I mean, not a lot, but just some student, you know. But for me, I think it was actually a great opportunity because when else would I try them, you know? <laughs> if not school. So if you think that school is basically all about drawings and all that, and that they would teach you like basically how to find your art style and all that. Um, you are wrong. <laughs> because uh, even after a year, I'm still have to find my own major. Uh, what am I saying? I mean my own style. And I am just still clueless about my style because I'm so many styles. And if you think that art school is just gonna make you so good at drawing, <laughs> Basically, art school just gives you a little fundamentals and like basic stuff and just a little guidance and feedbacks to you as well. But they don't really tell you like this is how you do this, this is how you draw this. Well, it is hard to be honest in an art like view, I guess. She I myself, if I was a teacher, I don't know what would what to do. But I expected something like different. I expected that at least I would be able to be taught like how I draw this. But instead I was actually thought about the different methods and I guess like feedbacks and examples. And if you are going to be in an art school or you are in an art school, I do recommend you to actually do one-on-one -on -one with the teachers whenever you ha want feedback and stuff because if you don't do that then you're basically learning it by yourself and for me i think art school is basically just me being able to experiment with different things and learning the things that i don't know like knowledge but learning how to draw it definitely depends on myself and i have to practice myself and everything so it was definitely different from expectations, but I guess now that I learn it here, I guess I kind of understand. I kind of like learn lots of like essay writing and like many writing stuff actually, and just history and social changes and social issues and all those things, which I didn't really expect for me to learn here in art school. But I guess it definitely differs and I think like for my observation like fine arts and stuff they definitely do more hands-on like painting and all that so if you're interested in that you go to fine arts. You definitely have to go search for your own majors but if you think that you know you want you want to stick with your own major and you find it you're calling your ready then go ahead but for me i think you, it's best and it's good to actually just keep your mind open and whenever you have like electives or chances to actually try out different majors go try it on because i tend to do that like i have chance i have to I have a choice to either choose major like electives that would actually improve in my major or I can try different majors and actually get more different experience. And for me, I chose a different experience. Why? Because if I'm going to do the job that I'm doing right now, which is like what I'm trying, like I'm learning, then I won't get the chance to actually try different majors that I might fall in love with more and enjoy it even more. So it's best to keep an open mind, try many new things, and it's a school. Go try it out. Go try it out. <laughs> and that is like all for now that I'm going to be talking about for the like what I feel and like how the expectations. But of course, I can talk a lot about it more. It's a school. It's a very big topic, very broad topic that I might bring up again in the future. So. But definitely, I hope what I said helps to give you a little like, at least a little something, a little thought and a little more answers to your questions about what is an art school and what do you actually learn. But for now, it's for me it's still year one and year two is definitely more hectic 
and year three I have internship year two I think I also have internship I'm not so sure Whew, good luck to me on that <laughs> I'm still very scared because for me there's still a lot to learn so I'm now going to be talking about my budo it is strawberry inspired because I love strawberries and here is the final look and I'm going to continue to make my bujo and updates will be in my Instagram again sorry I keep on promoting my Instagram but it is on my Instagram yes so I hope you guys like it and I'll see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching throughout the video I love you guys so much <laughs> Bye!